Welcome back to the Credible Dev YouTube channel. Today I wanted to talk about bottles. I actually thought I'd talked about this before and I was going back through my videos and everything and realized that I hadn't. And uh, as some of you may know, if you watched some of my previous videos, I don't play a lot of games, but I have played some Battle.net games on Linux. And really that's where my experience ends with gaming on Linux for the most part outside of Xbox Cloud Gaming. But... I did install Bottles and tried out Battle.net in it. Uh, previously, I'd done this through Lutris, so I just want to talk a little bit about the experience. And uh, there is a little bit of configuration that's needed to get Battle.net games to work on Bottles, but just wanted to, to bring that experience to you in case somebody else wants to uh, try this out as well or have been struggling with getting Battle.net working on Bottles. Hopefully, this video will help you out. If uh, you enjoy my videos, enjoy my content, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that like button on this video. So I installed Bottles through Flatpak, which I assume that's how most people are installing it. It's pretty simple to install through Flatpak as most other applications. And like I said, when you try to use Battle.net, there is a little bit of customization that needs to be done. You can see here I have Battle.net running. Uh, I have played a, a game of Battlegrounds on here just to be sure that it was working properly, and it was. The only issue that I had was there was like a cutscene video I hadn't played in a while, and it started to play that cutscene video, and the video didn't look really, really good, which I didn't really care about personally. The game itself played just fine. There wasn't any latency or anything like that with the graphics or animations. Everything played just fine and had no issues at all. Uh, so this can definitely be done on bottles. I've heard some other people say they had trouble with Battle.net. And what I did was, is I installed uh, Battle.net. I just went through all the all the defaults. And you, know, you can click here and choose gaming. And we'll just uh, create a new one here so you can see exactly what I did. This will take a little bit to uh, complete here. So I'll come back once that's done and show you the rest of the setup. All right, so that's finished here. The new bottle is created, but we'll close, and then we want to install a program. And then you can choose from the pre-configured list here. You can do your own as well if you're not wanting to use something that's from this, but you would just choose the Blizzard Battle.net here and then follow through the prompts. But uh, doing it that way, it's not going to work out of the box. The, um, the basic interface here, like getting into the Battle.net store or whatever you want to refer to this as, that part will work, but when you go to play a game, you might run into some problems like I did. In order to fix that, what you need to do is in Bottles, click on the three dots up here and go to Preferences. And you need to come down here, and you may need to turn on the pre-release uh, option here. And then you're going to click on runners and you're going to go to this one here. I'm not sure if you pronounce that cafe, not really sure. So if you know, leave a comment down below, but you're going to click on that one and install the latest one. And then you're going to go back into the bottle that you created. So we'll just go to that one we created a moment ago and you go into settings. I believe it's settings. Scroll up here. Yeah. And under Runner, you're going to choose that one. And once you do that and you relaunch Battle.net, you're going to be able to play your game just fine. So if you've been trying to do Battle.net on Bottles, that's how you can get it to work, at least from my experience. If you have a different experience, let us know down in the comments below, or maybe you have a different process to doing this. I've used Bottles for some other things, just running typical Windows applications. It's It's pretty simple, really. I mean, you can click run executable and you can choose executable uh, some won't work like for instance i tried onedrive uh because i use onedrive a lot and i was curious what the experience would be like with onedrive i couldn't get it to work whenever you launch the installer it says that it's running as administrator and it doesn't like that and based on the bit of research that i did it doesn't seem like there's a simple way to get it to run as a user uh, like a standard user rather than the administrator so OneDrive wouldn't work but some other Windows applications some of them that I've written myself those worked perfectly fine I may have had to install some dependencies like .NET which you can easily do here when you click on your bottle you just go to 
dependencies, and you'll have this list of dependencies here. And of course, if you needed something else, you could download it and then run the executable yourself to install that dependency. So Bottles is really easy to use. They're actually uh, working on some improvements for it. Uh, Bottles Next, if you haven't heard about that, it's kind of going to be the, the next revision, a major revision to Bottles where they're going to separate the back end of the application that runs the Windows apps and the front end to make them two separate pieces using a server client type uh, type of setup. And that's really cool because it could open up a lot of other options, other platforms would be able to easier it would make it easier for them to use the bottles back end that's already built and already you know fairly mature um they could tap into that and use that for their use case and bottles is used uh from my understanding i don't have a steam deck for but from my understanding bottles is used on the steam deck in some instances maybe battle.net specifically um, and like I said, you can run Battle.net and other things like Lutris, but the setup is a little more finicky from my experience with uh, Lutris, so Bottles made it a little bit easier to run Battle.net once I figured out that I needed to change the runner. But really, that's a simple change, like I showed, just not a big deal. Uh, but um, they are going to be redoing the interface. Uh, they have a Figma set up so you can kind of see what the new interface is going to be like. This new interface is going to run on Electron, which personally I don't I don't like Electron, uh, but I understand why they want to use Electron because they're trying to reach a broader audience, uh, different OSs like Mac OS, for instance, and Electron just makes it way easier for them to create a cross-platform front end, and then the back end I believe is going to be written in Go, which is it was great. Um, so I'm pretty excited to see what they do with it, even though I'm not a big gamer. Um, the innovation in the space is great. It would be even better if, uh, the folks from, you know, Bottles and all these other, all these other people who are trying to get gaming on Linux, if they could all just kind of team up together, you know, they could probably innovate a lot more. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Nobody can do anything about that. They're going to do what they want to do, but it would just be great to see that kind of collaboration and, you know, gaming on Linux would probably go a lot further. It's it's already great from what I can see. Again, I don't play a lot of games, but the fact that the Steam Deck exists is a testament to the fact that uh, gaming on Linux has came a really long way uh, from when I first started using Linux. But really, that's all I had for you today. I just wanted to quickly show you bottles. And I know a lot of people had had problems with Battle.net, so I wanted to show you what I've done to get Battle.net working on my machine. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Again, consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I hope everybody has a great weekend. See you.